hundreds of law enforcement officers said a final goodbye to one of the officers killed in Charlotte. People lined the streets as officers marched alongside Joshua Iyer's horse-drawn casket, draped in an American flag as it was carried to the church. It's cliche, but I know the reason our love is so special is because he is and always will be my very, my very best friend. His widow eulogizing him there. WRL's Matt Tallhelm is live tonight with how those who knew him best are remembering Officer Iron. Yeah, uh, very emotional. There are a lot of mourning in the city of Charlotte, but also around the state. Here at the executive mansion, you can see flags are flying at half staff here. Governor Roy Cooper ordered them lowered on all state buildings until sunset tonight to honor the officers. The governor was in Charlotte earlier today for the first of four funerals for those officers killed in the line of duty. Solemn silence falls upon the busy streets of uptown Charlotte. But for the clip-clop on pavement of a horse-drawn caisson carrying a fallen officer to his final call of duty in this life. Today we come together with heavy hearts. Inside First Baptist Church, the flag-draped casket was flanked by photos of a husband, father, and six-year veteran of the force. 31-year-old Joshua Iyer put on the department's uniform for the final time Monday. Officer Iyer, you represent everything great about this badge I wear over my heart and this patch I wear on my sleeve. Iyer is remembered as a selfless, humble hero committed to keeping his community safe. Homicide suspect, he would get you. Stole a sandwich from QT, Iyer's getting you too. <laughs> Officer Nicholas Ferreira worked by his side. He gave his all until the very end and we owe it to him and the others tragically killed to pick up where they left off. That legacy lives on in a wife's willpower. And I may not be able to get through this, but I want to try. To share the intimacies of life and loss in front of a crowd of hundreds. He was so, so good to me. I never have and I never will question how much he loved me. And the love of a three-year-old son he leaves behind, a son distracted during this service by a smartphone from the loss he's too young to understand. Joshua, thank you for giving me a beautiful life and for our beautiful son. We won't let you down, okay? Just last month, Iyer was named the Officer of the Month by the department, by the chief there. Today, he was laid to rest this afternoon in Charlotte.